Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Learn in a Nutshell. So, in the previous video, we saw how to send uh, attachments with SendGrid. Um, so, it was uh, no easy thing to do. Hopefully, you have also understood how to do that. In today's video, let's see, uh, you know, on a, on a similar line attachments itself. But um, in this video, I'll show you all how to send an attachment. Uh, uh, you know by getting it from some somewhere else uh, with the help of url and then attaching it uh, to the sendgrid mail so that we don't have to uh, you know store that particular attachment anywhere locally you can directly download from the url uh, convert it into a buffer and send it let's quickly see that um, that's a straightforward method but for that we'll need axios um, that's what we'll be using that library we'll be using for getting the contents uh, from url for fetching uh, the get request or you can use it for a post request as well so for that we need axios so what we'll do is let's create a variable called maybe request and let's call axios let's see if that is available already if it's available great or else we need to download it so it looks like it's not there let's install it npm i axios so it got installed the latest package has been installed now let's see if it's available that's available you should see that getting imported on the top on the second line now what we'll do is uh, we'll do a get request um, we need to pass the url here let's type url we'll pass the url uh, with a variable and also type what will be the response type um, let's say we uh, we are expecting array buffer so and also make sure to put await for all the known reasons so it's a promise we need uh, the response to come back only then we can go to the next line and process it so here the request will take it instead of the stringify which we had done in the previous video We'll pass this, sorry, my bad. We'll pass this a request here. Request dot data. So it will be in a data uh, variable. So we need to uh, call uh, request dot data. And remaining rest, everything is same. Now only thing that spending is passing the URL. Let URL pass the url here let's download one or copy the url from uh, no google i've already previously searched it pdf file uh, file type pdf well, let's see what this file is about so it's a small demonstration pdf let's copy this url and pass it between this double quotes and this should be passed here axios.get should get that url in array buffer and that buffer uh, you know that should data should be extracted with uh, request.data convert it into a buffer base64 and then add it to the attachment attachment draft and uh, that content should be buffer what you have done here and uh, file type which we have done is pdf so let's change this to pdf um, let's give the name as demo pdf and uh, this should be pdf as well so the file name should be pdf that should be named properly and that attachment should be pushed into an array because if you have multiple attachment you can send it here you know um, uh, so that multiple attachment also can be sent so for this i uh, will just send one attachment and uh, if you want you can do multiple attachments as well i will also try to send uh, 
this this particular attachment let let's but uh, before that let's quickly test this one and then uh, try to send multiple attachments so let's see how this turns out to be oh sorry my bad I tr I'm trying to install it again hopefully there should not be any error okay it has successfully sent let's see if oh there are two attachments okay that is uh, previously uh, which had sent that attachment so you can ignore that in this mail there's only one attachment which has come and that's the attachment which we got directly from the uh, sample.pdf so send grid says up to 13 30 mb uh, of file you can send as an attachment so this is just 3 kb so up to 30 mb there should not be any issue if you're sending it uh, you know using this method i believe so but let me know if you are facing an issue with this but this is how you do it now what we'll do is uh, before ending this video let's try to send multiple attachment uh, let's do this and and pass the json dot stringify of attach null to now let's name it as buffer to copy this whole thing put it below this change uh, let's remove this let from here and send buffer to send the name as json here also json and this draft should be pushed to this attachment over here and this attachment can be added here to this particular rom draft email draft if it is a plain email if you are sending it via a template uh, you know using the template then you can add the attachment in a similar fashion you should just just need to pass attachments over here at the end and remaining this is how you send uh, the rest of the data all the dynamic data goes inside this and the template id is a must to understand which template needs to be used you can check out the previous video if you have any doubt about that but let's test this hopefully it should send two attachments so it's successful let's see so there is two attachment here one is this pdf and other one is this json file and the other content let's also quickly test with this uh, draft uh, template uh, dynamic template draft so let's see how this has come and uh, how this is going to come out it has successfully sent and uh, the mail should come now and this is our oh, you are going to receive the mail thanks for signing up the name which you have passed there the dynamic variable and um, you'll see all the other dynamic uh, no template which is coming up here and with the two attachments so that's how we do it hope you all understood hope it was easy and useful so let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section and also um, please uh, you know uh, let me know your valuable comments uh, uh, so you can put it in the comment section if you like the video please do the like button subscribe comment and also um, you know do share with your friends let's catch you in the next video guys until then see you bye